Busted at the bar, two Detroit fire officials suspended over alcohol. The department confirms four firefighters brought their fire truck to a bar in Melvindale and then one later tested positive for alcohol. That firefighter and the supervisor are both suspended tonight. Alcohol abuse on the front lines has been a problem for the city. Last year, the fire department sounded the alarm after two crashes involving drinking. 7 Action News reporter Simon Shaket was on that story then and joins us now with this new investigation and some tough questions for the fire commissioner. Simon. After promising to do better, this comes as another disappointment to the citizens of the city of Detroit. But now the Detroit Fire Commissioner is answering our questions about an alleged drinking incident involving two members of his department over the weekend. Given that there's been a history of this with the department, does that trouble you even more? If it's a history, yes. Because you're jeopardizing people's lives. On the streets of Detroit, citizens like Sheila Rice call it shameful and dangerous. That's going to impact your ability to perform. Now, the fire commissioner left to answer burning questions nearly a year after the mayor said. We're not here to focus on who's to blame. We're focusing on how we're going to solve it. The mayor's announcement was of a new program partnering with the National Union to help Detroit firefighters get counseling and other assistance after drunk driving crashes on the job. Are incidents like this a sign that the employee assistance program is not working? I wouldn't say that it's not working because there are very few isolated um, incidents that happen along with our uh, enhanced, we're, gonna, we're, we're looking to have a more enhanced and robust employee assistance program. Back in March of 2021, we reported an audit found stress and other factors led to numerous cases of drinking at firehouses despite having a zero tolerance policy. But we've confirmed this weekend at Hops and Barley Bar in Melvindale, a disturbance led to police being called. A fire truck was driven to the bar and a tip led to alcohol testing soon after. A firefighter found positive for alcohol. He and his supervisor suspended without pay. When we have these isolated incidents, we would do an investigation and uh, we will hold people accountable. Retired DPD Assistant Chief Steve Dolent, who previously worked in internal affairs, adding this could have ended much worse, if not for a citizen calling 911. You can't be driving if you're inebriated. Were they at the bar to pick up food? Uh, were they in uniform? Did they actually have a drink? The fire commissioner is promising to have this investigation wrapped up within a week or so and to be extremely transparent about the process, including any potential discipline that could take place. In the meantime, the union representing the firefighters is not commenting at this point. From Detroit's west side, Simon Shaykat, 7 Action News. Simon, thank you, and you'll find more of our past coverage on firefighters and substance abuse at WXYZ.com, including some resources that can help first responders who need it.